want to talk about the quality of the use of the feet, the pressure and the tone, and the physicality that we're going to use in our feet and in our legs, specifically in Samba. The bounce action, you can find many videos explaining the, the bounce action, but the pelvic action in the middle and the knees and even the feet, the footwork, but a focus here on the usage of the feet and how we create intention and quality through resistance, the right amount of muscular resistance and pressure to the floor. Our feet are amazing. They're always reading the surface that we stand on and that we'll walk on. We're completely unaware of that. When we dance, all these things have to become more intentional for us to have a beautiful quality in our dancing and a quality of weight transfer. So we want to enhance the intelligence of the feet. And we talk about intention in dancing. So my intention here, if I take this ball, is to squeeze the ball. So I'll use how much tone and how much energy, depending on how hard that ball is. So the floor itself is, is quite hard, and we want to press through our feet and activate and open the feet. And we're going to use this ball as an exercise. This can also be an exercise for developing a better foot placement, foot pressure, and awareness through the feet and through the legs in all the dances. But today we will just work with the Samba basic and how we can use the ball for anything that requires that we use resistance. So many times when we're trying to get across quality of, of movement and how we have a sense of pushing the air, we have to have something in our imagination to do that. So you can imagine pushing the very heavy curtains apart. If you're pushing a wheelbarrow and it's full, you have to exert more actual muscular energy to move it, and it's empty, you can just move it. So to make the dancing firmer and not so flimsy, we have to create that in our imagination. But it helps if we have something that we can use to engage with. So we have quite a few feet here, I believe, in this view. Are we doing a samba today here, buddy boy? Where you want the ball? What I'm going to use the ball for here is to press it into the floor. If you can see through the doggy feet. And this is the feeling that I want to use to engage my foot in the back of my leg. How about if you move over here? Yeah, how about if you sit over there? So as I was saying about the intelligence of the feet, they're feeding information up into my legs and into the center. And as I'm using this ball, so having to physically press it to the floor, all of my leg muscles are properly engaging. So I can use a more accurate placement of my heel into the floor and also create resistance in my leg muscles so that the bounce action does not become too flimsy, which is a problem often in the Samba. So when I take the ball away, I'll have to create this in my imagination. I'll do this around the poodle. So we want to press that heel down, but we want to use resistance in the foot as the weight is poured into the foot. And not simply ball flat with a heavy release when my legs are also too flimsy. So I'm squeezing or imagining that the ball is underneath the heel. Press. Ball, ball flat. Press. Ball, ball flat. Press. Ball, ball flat. There's a tendency for many dancers to get their weight too far forward and to not press the heel into the floor on the count one and count two but to have the heels always off of the floor. So it's important to feel the grounding of two. That's your three quarter, quarter one. If I do the natural basic, three quarter, quarter one, and three quarter, quarter one. It's important now for the ladies 
dancing in the stilettos, but they do some practice and some foot exercises without these high heels so that you can develop the proper tone and resistance through the feet and through the legs without the heels on. It's very easy to, to cheat and let the heels catch you too quickly. I hope also that you can see in the shoe, this is why the toe is open and the feet can spread out, that the foot is open, the toes are open and grabbing the floor. There's always pressure on the big toe. Not that we're dancing all our weight into the big toe, we're dancing on the ball of the foot, which is really the metatarsal head or the uh, area where the, the longer foot bones meet with the toes. And so we're standing on those metatarsal heads and we're using our toes as levers. When we press the big toe into the floor, we immediately engage the muscles properly in the legs, which helps us with our leg tone and our feeling of grounding. Always feeling my ankles working inward. So again, working in the inside of the leg so that when you do your squeeze, there's never space between the legs or the big toes coming off of the floor. So there's the, the feeling of the bounce and the feeling of attachment to the floor. And then from the push off, again, the squeeze. Now I don't have as far to squeeze in the heel, but I still hopefully can feel the tone uh, to one. Uh, two. As we're pressing the front heel down, we're peeling out of the back foot. Squeeze. Uh, two. One. Uh, two. Changing to the natural basic. Three quarter. Quarter one. Three quarter. Quarter one. Three quarter. So always feeling the resistance of putting the heel down which creates a resistance in the leg muscle. Squeeze, ball flat. Squeeze, press the heel down, ball flat. Squeeze, ball flat into the whisk action and squeeze, ball flat. And also practice just pressing the heels down, down, and then squeezing the leg. Heels and knees, heels and knees. And then pick the heel up, push, push. 